The second charge storage mechanism associated with the PN junction arises when the, for, when the PN junction is forward biased so that the, the positive terminal on the external voltage source is connected to the P-doped region and the negative is associated or is connected to the N-doped region. This type of capacitance is referred to as the diffusion capacitance. It's related to the excess minority carriers located in the PNN regions outside the depletion region. Again, as we've seen before, this excess uh, concentration is uh, represented by the shaded areas of this graph. As we've discussed, in a forward biased diode, holes diffuse from the P region across the depletion region to the N region, and holes diffuse similarly in the opposite direction. Holes diffusing this way, electrons diffusing this way, creating this excess concentration of minority carriers. As the minority carriers continue to diffuse away from the junction, they begin to recombine with the majority carriers as is seen by the exponential decay of the excess concentrations. But they are continually replaced by new holes and new electrons coming from the power supply. Thus, there is something of a dynamic equilibrium of charge effectively stored on each side of that junction. This dynamic equilibrium of charge is known as the diffusion capacitance. So you've got a separation of or you've got a concentration of holes here and a concentra concentration of electrons here due to, the due to the diffusion. And that separation with the voltage across them then is the mechanism for this capacitance. As the terminal voltage changes, the amount of charge thus stored adjusts accordingly and the amount of capacitance then is also adjustable. The amount of charge on either side of the junction can be calculated with these formulas. This time based upon the uh, electron current and here based upon the hole current. A time variable tau can be defined which is known as the excess minority carrier lifetime. And it's related to the average length of time a minority carrier exists before recombining. Now the gory details of the math aren't particularly important at this point. And there are some approximations that aren't important at this level either. But we can then calculate the approximate capacitance due to this separation of charge from diffusion with this formula right here. But more important than the exact derivations is to understand that the PM junctions have capacitance and thus take time to either forward bias and turn on or to turn off. This as well as the junction capacitance directly impact how quickly transistors can be turned on and turned off.